Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment, I'm going to talk to you about the extreme differences in showing graphics with wide lenses and telephoto lenses. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally. So there's a big difference between dragging out a long lens and dragging out a wide lens when you're working graphically. And oftentimes that's what you're doing out there in the field. You're trying to sort out the graphics of a location as they present themselves. Behind me is a giant array of Parmesan cheese wheels in Parma, Italy. And I shot this obviously with a wide angle lens. And there's been something that has come along very recently that I'm very happy about. Um, Nikon just came out with a 20 millimeter, okay, F1.8, which is fast glass. And Historically, the 20 for me as a fixed wide angle was always my favorite. I love the 20 millimeter perspective. Nothing against zooms or anything like that, but I'm very happy this lens has come along. It's sharp, it's fast, and it's affordable. Gets me back to sort of my photographic roots when I would go out with two lenses. If I only had those two lenses, it would be a 20 and a 180. So this was shot with a 20 millimeter perspective and you can see how it throws the world away and emphasizes the repeating nature of the wheels and just how many of them there are. Again, behind me, this deserted hallway at Ellis Island. You know, when I'm using a 20, you establish in a hallway like this, you know, you establish this kind of vertigo effect, you know. There's no stacking up that comes with the compression of a long lens. It throws the world away from you, widens it out quite literally, and gets your eye to sort of travel down this space to, well, you can't really see where it ends, you know, and that's a beauty of working like this. There's a kind of a mystery to it. You kind of suck the eyeballs of your viewer into your photograph and keep them engaged, okay, by following all this lush detail as it recedes away from you with the wide angle lens usage. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So what changes when you shift from a wide lens to a telephoto lens? Well, certainly, the amount of stuff you have to carry with you. This is a 200 to 400. I shot the picture over my shoulder with this lens from a Cessna, okay? This is a chunk of glass. It's hard to manage, okay? You have to really, really concentrate. Quick tip, if you're shooting, uh, especially from a moving plane, also from a helicopter, depending on the wind conditions, but certainly from something like a Cessna, which cannot maintain a stationary position in the air, you might want to think about the lens hood. Whenever I go up in the air, I tape this lens hood, or if I feel it's really going to be a detriment to be holding the lens steady, I take it off, because what can happen up there is that this can literally fill with air and it becomes a giant scoop out there in the slipstream and it can actually knock the lens around. So I either tape it really seriously or I take it off. And you can go even bigger, okay? I just showed you a 200 to 400, okay? This picture over my shoulder was shot with a 600 millimeter F4. This is a commitment, okay? Lots of wildlife photographers use 600s as a routine thing. Also, say, football or action sports folks. The 600, as opposed to that hallway I showed you with Ellis Island where it was creating some vertigo here and it faded away, the lines get very blocky. Everything stacks up on itself, and those runners look like ants that are kind of almost crawling over one another when there's actually probably 10, 15 feet between those runners. But with the stacked up compressed perspective of a long piece of glass, it doesn't look like that at all. So if you ever want to go out, say, on Fifth Avenue or someplace like that or at a race and make, you know, a hundred runners coming at you look like a thousand runners via the compressed perspective uh, that you're trying to establish, long glass is a good way to go. Longer, the better. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, talking to you in this segment about the differences between wide lenses and long lenses and how they render graphics differently. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. 
For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.